D viewer. Some of the applications featured are dedicated photo editors, and the others are graphic applications, but they are very much capable of being photo editors, so I included them. Fortivor is a cross platform photo processor for raw and bitmap images with 16 bit precision. So it's aiming at a semi professional user base. It is licensed under the GPL version 3. Fortivo features GIMP integration, raw and bitmap support, batch mode, tone mapping, adaptive saturation, and perspective correction. Darktable is an open source photography workflow application and raw developer. This software manages your digital negatives in a database and lets you view them through a zoomable light table. It also enables you to develop raw images and enhance them. It's licensed under the GPL version 3. So Darktable's Features are SSE and OpenCL support, RAW support, zero latency, tethered shooting, and it supports Picasa and Flickr. I doubt many who use FreeBSD would have not heard of the GIMP, which is the GNU Image Manipulation Program a freely distributed program for photo retouching, image composition, and image authoring. It is licensed under the GPL version 2. Some of the features of GIMP include full screen editing, layers and channels, advanced scripting, full alpha channel support, sub-pixel sampling, and the support of a variety of plugins. Although Inkscape is perhaps not the first choice when it comes to photo editing software, Inkscape is more than capable of handling the task. Inkscape is an open source vector graphics editor with capabilities similar to Illustrator, whilst using the W3C standard Scalable Vector Graphics, or SVG, file format, which is an open industry standard XML based format. I personally use Inkscape to produce all my graphics for the channel and that includes the thumbnails as well. Inkscape is licensed under the GPL version 2. Some of the features of Inkscape include bitmap tracing, boolean operations, layers, node editing, SVG support, and object grouping. Critter is something I have begun to look into more and more lately, and I won't be stopping using Inkscape anytime soon, but I'm curious as to what Critter can actually do for me. Critter is a painting, photo retouching, and raster image editing application. Critter contains both ease of use and fun features like guided painting, and iron features like support for 16-bit images, CMYK, LAB, and OpenEXR. Critter is scriptable in Python and Ruby and offers a DCOP interface, which stands for Desktop Communications Protocol. Some of the features of Critter include plugin support, it's scriptable, supports color models, images and layers, filters, and it supports custom masks and brushes. Lightzone is professional level digital darkroom software. Rather than using layers in the way that other photo editors do, Lightzone lets the user build up a stack of tools which can be rearranged, readjusted, turned off and on and removed from the stack. It's licensed under the new BSD license. Some of the features of Lightzone include non-destructive raw editing, supports unlimited layers, has batch support, features one-touch photo enhancing, and is cross-platform. PhotoFlow is a fully non-destructive photo retouching program providing a complete layer-based workflow including raw image development. 
In some respects, it looks and feels like Fortivo. Some of the features of Fortoflow include plug-in support, 8, 16, 32 and 64-bit integer and floating point support, layer grouping and masks, and support for most common editing tools as you'd expect. Pinter, or Pinter, is an open source image manipulation program that mimics the usability of Paint.net. Its goal is to provide a simplified experience for casual users. Pinter has many features typical of image editing software, including drawing tools, image filters, and color adjustment tools. As a non-professional at photo editing, I really like Pinter, but it may be just too limiting to professional users. It's licensed under the MIT X11 license. Some of the features in Pinter include unlimited layers, pad docking library, it supports open raster, it has an extension manager, and unlimited do and redo. And last but not least, RAW Therapy, which stands for the Experimental RAW Photo Editor, is a cross-platform RAW image processing application. Raw therapy involves the concept of non-destructive editing, similar to that of some other raw conversion software. The raw loading engine of raw therapy is based on DC raw. This means that all cameras supported by DC raw that use a classical RGB Bayer pattern sensor are also supported by raw therapy. It's licensed under the GPL version 3. And some of the features include demosaicing, DC RAW 8.82 support, color booster, processing queue, and chromatic aberration correction. It's great to see so many potential photo editing applications available for eBSD. It shows that Windows, Mac, and Linux are not the only game in town when it comes to editing some of your photographs that you may have taken over the festive period or indeed from last year. Although my experience of them is limited, as you probably saw from the demo that I gave, in the right hands, you can produce some really top-notch professional quality work. I'd love to know if you use any of these applications in the comment section down below. And if you do, tell me how you use them and what you've used them on. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Well done if you've made it to the end of the video, and if you've found it useful in any way, then please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to make sure you don't miss future videos, then please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. This helps the channel grow so that I can keep on making content that helps the FreeBSD community grow as well.